The first thing we need to do is we need to include the libraries that are already being uh, brought in for us, and that's React and React DOM. Now, React is what we're going to be focusing this course on, and that's the API for components. Um, React DOM is what helps us connect that to a website. Each platform has an independent package. Now, for us, that's gonna be React DOM since we're working on a web project. Uh, so let's include those into our project now. Uh, first, we're going to import React from React. This is assigning a local identity of React from our imported NPM package. And we're going to import React DOM, the same from the NPM package React DOM. Great, now it's a little bit more stable and less refreshy. Now, from these packages, we're going to learn about just two things. We're gonna learn about React Create Element and React DOM Render. These are the two functions that we're going to cover in this lesson, and they're all that we need to make a React app on the web. We're already getting a helpful error saying that we aren't using React DOM Render correctly. Uh, it's pointing to the line, line six. Now, the way React DOM works is that it takes a what and a where. And it's going to take that what and render it into the where. This project already has an HTML file with an empty div with an ID of root. And that will be our where. So let's collect that with just some regular old JavaScript. Const where is document dot get element by ID root. I am Groot. Now that we have our where defined, we need to work on the what. And the what is going to be our new React element. The first argument for React element is going to be the type of element that we want to render. Any type of HTML tag will work here uh, when wrapped in a string like this. The second argument is going to be the options for that element. So these are going to be like class name and ID and any data attributes, things of that nature. Finally, in the last position, we have the inner text or the children of this element. And I'm just going to say, hello, React. And just like that, with just these few lines of code, we have our first working React app.